Hey everybody, CEO Prepper here for the Survivor's Edge. Uh, I saw this at Walmart, and honestly, I was going to try and get that Be Ready bag um, a while back before they discontinued it and stopped selling it. Uh, but there's enough videos on that mess of a kit. Um, so if you want to go ahead and look at it, um, just type in Be Ready bag, and uh, you'll find it. Uh, anywhere on YouTube or elsewhere on the internet. But this one is the latest one they came out with. Um, this one's from Total Resources International. Um, and this is their Lone Wolf One Person One Day Survival Kit. Um, obviously, it says it's U.S. Coast Guard approved. It's got food, water, first aid, protection, communication, and light. And a water-resistant bag with four-in-one buckle, compass, whistle, flint, and striker. So, uh... Let's go ahead and uh, dig into this and uh, see what we got. Okay, first thing I noticed um, right off hand is the... Uh, oh. Sorry about that. had a phone call on my business line. Okay, so right off the bat, I noticed that this uh, kit comes in a... Uh, you know, of course, the watertight... Um, kind of reminds me... Of, it's a watertight dry bag. Um, and it's got a compass and a uh, flint strike on the uh, clasp with a whistle so basically it's uh, kind of like uh, my bracelet here my um, actually it's just like my um, my paracord bracelet you know except in a bag on a bag you know okay so uh, let me go ahead and empty this out and see what's in it by the way, you know, it came in a pretty uh, nice, small, uh, orange bag, as you can see. Uh, so it's highly, uh, so the color is highly visible. Um, so it also can um, help uh, signal for help uh, if you're in a disaster situation. All right, now, it came with this emergency blanket. Um, you know, see, standard, uh, I'll say, uh, reflective blanket. Yeah, it's the standard reflective blanket. Uh, let's see, it comes with a triangular bandage. Uh, looks like it's only one in here. Also comes with uh, some more standard uh, band aids. A uh, little rape whistle. A uh, couple of couple glow sticks here um, yeah a couple glow sticks two glow sticks a mask um, I guess for dust situations um, got a small miniature or a small emergency disaster guide um, let's see Mind you, I just took this out of the package, so what you see is basically how it's going to be coming. Um, okay, so on the back of this, it's got an emergency supply checklist, and it, it's got it's got some pretty accurate information. So basically, anybody that doesn't know any better, uh, this will be good for. So water, one gallon per person for at least three days. Uh, so basically, it's telling you what you need, how, uh, what you need, how much of it you need. Um, let's see. Let's see what's on the inside of this. Um, of course, you got your general checklist uh, for you know the um, most likely types of disasters: earthquakes, fires, tornadoes, hurricanes uh, that we deal with here in the U.S. Um, so you got your before, your during, your after um, procedures, uh, what they suggest you do. Um, let's see, and then of course, this pack here, you got uh, emergency drinking water, energy bars, um, and well, looks like you got I think one or two emergency uh, energy bars. Feels like two. Um, and you got um, one, two. Looks like looks like you got three packs of emergency drinking water. 
and believe it or not, guys, that's it. That's all that comes in this little pack, and if you're expecting something more, uh, you're, uh, I'm sorry, this is what you got. For almost $20, this is what you got in, uh, in this kit. So, um, in my, uh, humble opinion, um, I'm not going to say a professional opinion, I'm just going to say my humble opinion, um, this ain't enough. Th this is enough to barely get you by. You have no way of, besides the rape whistle and the, uh, whistle on the bag, um, you have no way of really communicating with anybody, um, you have uh, no way of charging your phone. Um, this, I would not depend on this alone uh, in a disaster, you know. Um, I, I don't even feel good about giving this to, pe giving this to somebody. Um, but, you know, that's just me. Um, of course, I always tell people, and I do this myself, build your own bug out bags um, or your own get home bags or any kind of uh, disaster kit, build it yourself because you know what you need. Um, so, like I said, the, to me, this, this, this ain't enough. This, this is enough to get you maybe to a safe place. Um, I, I wouldn't even, I, okay, at the most 24 hours. It'll probably do you some good for at least 24 hours. Maybe. Uh, but I, I would probably go anywhere from 6 to 12. Um, depending on the disaster. Uh, but I would not depend on this bag uh, for my soul survival. No, not at all. Uh, because you also don't have radio. You don't have flashlights. Uh, you don't have a lot of things in here that I would normally put in. Like my get home bag or uh, my 72 hour bug out bag. Um, which those videos are still coming on the, uh, 72 hour bug out bags. Um, but yeah, this, yeah, um, I'm not, let's just say it's not blowing my skirt up. So, uh, leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think. Um, you think this is a good buy? You think it's not? You know my thoughts. Uh, so comment down below, like, comment, uh, subscribe, share this video. And, um, Anything you guys can do to help, generally appreciate it. And now you have the Survivor's Edge.